Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Carla Kush. If you are returning, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you are new here, also welcome. If you've never heard of me before, Google me and just make sure your parents aren't behind you. So today I am going to talk about my taste in music. Um, I get a lot of questions about that. Well, not like a million questions, but I've definitely gotten a good few questions throughout the years about what kind of music I listen to. Um, sometimes I share what I'm listening to on my Instagram feed, but not always. I'm a little bit, um, I don't know. I am a little bit more quiet with my music tastes, I feel like. So since it's the end of the year um, and Spotify came out with the whole wrapped thingy or whatever and tells you what you've been listening to all year, I thought this would be a perfect chance to share that with you. So let me get into what kind of music I've been listening to for the past year. And uh, maybe we have some of the same tastes. Let's see. I like it because Spotify does the whole, hey, let's break it down for you kind of cute thing, right? So we're going to look through it together and see what I have been listening to. This year, I, in 2023, I listened to 94 genres, which is, that's a lot of genres. But nowadays, I mean, there, there's like millions of genres. There used to be like five genres. <laughs> now there's so many more. So let's see. Um what I got into this year musically in those 94 genres. I like the little like sandwich they show you. What kind of sandwich is it gonna be? How how will my sandwich look? The type of music I listen to most this year, uh, genre wise is Indie Tronica, which I've never heard of that before, but I guess it's like Indie Electronica. Um, rock, keeping it simple, just rock, <laughs> um, dance pop, hip hop, and something called Lilith, which I'm assuming is like feminist type of, you know, indigo girls, closer to fine type of, type of music. <laughs> I definitely a Lilith type. It says this year, my listening took me places all over the world. Woo. People that are more likely to be fans of the bands I'm fans of and artists such as Grace Ives, the Be Good Tanyas, and Grimes um, are centered in <laughs> Berkeley. <laughs> no sh hippie me into, uh, into music that people uh, from Berkeley would like. So people like me um, listen to uh, music that people in Berkeley listen to, I guess. I wonder. I wonder how I would do in Berkeley. I have been told many times that I should live in Berkeley or I should have gone to school there or something. So I guess that makes sense. So it says this year I played 3,451 songs, which I feel like sounds like a lot, but is it really? Is it really a lot? I don't know. And there was one song that really connected. What song was it? Oh. I wish I could play it, but everything's copyright. So there's a band called La Tigre, which I'm sure some of you have heard of, maybe some of you haven't, but there's a song called Eau de Bedroom Dancing, and that was my favorite song this year, I guess. I do really like that song. Um, I played it 40 times this year, starting on January 2nd. <laughs> 40 times isn't that much, honestly. Like, are you guys sure that's my favorite song? I mean, I do love that song. It's a really good song. I love that, that girl rock. But I had room in my heart for more than one favorite. So we had a, that song by La Tigre, a song by my one of my favorites, Grace Ives, called Baby. Um, the Be Good Tanya's, a song called Horses. Um, and then this instrumental song, and I don't even know how to pronounce this guy's name. Joep, J-O-E-P, Beving, called Ala. I love that song. It's just instrumental. And then another song by Grace Ives called You Or Nothing Else. So those are my top songs, apparently. I do really like all those songs. Let's, I'm, I'm, en I'm enjoying this. 
All right, we'll add the playlist of my 2023 songs to my library. Cool. What's next? I listened for 2000 or 2000, 23,871 minutes. That's 16 days nonstop. I feel like that's not that much. I need to listen to more music. That for a year, only 16 days nonstop. I peaked on March 22nd at 604 minutes. I'm actually pretty sure that was when I was driving across the country um, to move to the east coast so that actually makes a lot of sense it says i listened to 1968 artists but one came out on top i bet it's gonna be grace ives right because i love her yep grace ives if you haven't listened to her she makes really good music you should check her out i'm oh my gosh i'm <laughs> I I'm in the top 0.5% of her fans and spent it says we spent 441 minutes together <laughs> if you're watching this great size thanks for making great music I, I appreciate you okay you had something special with your top artists here's how you spent time with them across the year let's see Yes, I spent a bunch of time with grace future islands another really great band grimes classic and I you know I forgive her for marrying Elon Musk which we we all make our own choices in life <laughs> uh Fleetwood Mac of course classic love Fleetwood Mac uh who else who else did I spend time with the Be Good Tanya's amazing band girl band I guess that was it okay so we have my top artists so they're turning off the lights uh-oh what's gonna happen the way you listen to music makes you a hero. I don't know about that. Or anti-hero. Okay, so what What am I? I'm a vampire. <laughs> what? <laughs> when it comes to your listening, you like to embrace a little darkness. You listen to emotional, atmospheric music more than most. Hmm. So I'm a vampire. <laughs> Wow. Okay. I definitely want to see what everyone else is that watched this. If you have Spotify, please tell me what your wrapped results were. Like, what other options are there? Because apparently I'm a vampire. Anybody else a vampire out there? I don't know. Dark. Darkness. I like darkness. Emotional, atmospheric music. All right. Sure, I guess. I guess I can be a little atmospheric. Are we done? Okay, cool. Well, there you go. <laughs> So I guess I like emotional, atmospheric music, um, but I also listen to tons and tons and tons of different genres. Maybe I could share like a playlist or something like a, a Spotify playlist with you guys at some point. That's my music taste, I guess. Those are some of the artists I've been listening to this year. Some of my favorite music I've enjoyed this year. Definitely let me know in the comments if you have Spotify and if you, what your wrapped results were. I'd be really interested to hear like what creature you are since I'm a vampire. <laughs> um, and yeah, like what's your favorite music? Apparently I really like Indie Tronica. That was on my, my top list, which I guess, makes sense like synth indie music but i also like rock hip-hop and lilith because i'm a <laughs> super feminist i guess I, I mean i am so that makes sense well there you go i we learned something new together today about the type of music i listen to apparently I'm gonna, i was gonna read some of my like playlist names <laughs> i only have three playlists that are like actual like unique ones that I made. The first one is spooky rap, which is like rap that I made for like a playlist for like Halloween, like 20 songs on it. It's not that much, but so spooky rap. <laughs> uh, I have another one called ethereal happy. So I guess that would fall under the atmospheric music. And then I have a workout playlist with just like a bunch of hyped up music. But yeah, I mean, I really, I guess it is pretty broad the type of music I like so that's cool so you can't really say that you like one genre anymore I feel like because there's so many genres so let me know in the comments what's your favorite genre what creature are you what does Spotify deem you as and uh let me know what other things you want to know I was excited to share my music and to uh learn about things about myself musically with you I'll see you in the next video Thank you.